friends, welcome back to Exploration Place. My name is Jessica, and today we're gonna have fun with centripetal force. Now I have a fun experiment here that's going to show you this. I have a penny, wonderful Mr. Lincoln, and a balloon. So I'm going to place the penny inside of the balloon. And then I'm going to blow the balloon up and tie it. Now I chose a white balloon so that hopefully you at home can see this. Ah, my finger's stuck. There we go. <laughs> now right now the penny's not moving, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a spin and see if we can get it to start rotating. There we go. Now if I stop, can you see the penny is still moving? It's moving on its own due to centripetal force. Now here on Earth, we have gravity, which is starting to pull it down towards the bottom of the balloon. But if we were in space, it would keep going and going until friction eventually stopped it. So let's see if we can have a little bit of fun with this. Instead of a perfectly round penny, I chose a hex nut. Now if you have a hex nut at home, I definitely recommend trying this at home. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your hex nut, place it into the balloon. Once again, we're going to blow it up. Maybe. Let's see what might happen with a different shape. So remember, a hex nut has six flat sides to it. So let's see if we can get this one spinning. Whoa! Let's try that again. Do you hear it? Whoa! Well, we definitely got it to go flying. <laughs> but it made a screaming sound, and that is exactly due to the friction on those six sides. It wasn't perfectly round, so when its centrifugal force started moving faster and faster, it started to make vibrations, and those vibrations turned into sounds. So try this at home. See if you can find a balloon and something of odd shape. Get a spinning and see what sounds might be produced. Bye, friends! <laughs>